Welcome back to Mailbox Corner, the podcast where we dive deep into the fascinating world of mail, packages, and everything in between. I'm your host, Jake, and with me is the ever-curious Emily. How are you today, Emily? I'm doing great, Jake. Excited, as always, to unravel another mystery of the postal world. What's on the agenda today? Today, we're taking a closer look at a place that's crucial in the journey of countless packages before they embark on their international voyages. It's the Dalingshan Town Sorting Facility, a primary AliExpress sorting center. Ah, the Dalingshan Town Sorting Facility. Before we dive into the specifics, let's set the stage for our listeners. Every package that's destined for international departure goes through a series of steps, right? Exactly, Emily. Before these packages can even think about getting on a plane or a ship, they have to undergo inspection, registration, and routing in a sorting center. And the Dalingshan Town facility plays a pivotal role in this process. That sounds like a lot of responsibility for one facility. So why does AliExpress rate the Dalingshan Town sorting facility so highly? There must be something special about it. You hit the nail on the head, Emily. The Dalingshan Town sorting facility isn't just any sorting center. It's strategically located among three Dongguan districts, making it a key player in the logistics game. And considering Dongguan is the fourth largest Chinese city in terms of export shipments, that's no small feat. The proximity to the Dongguan industrial city, where a high number of AliExpress customers order their products, must play a significant role in its efficiency. Absolutely. Plus, the facility's location near infrastructural developments like motorway exits, human high-speed rail station, and National Expressway 107 means packages can move fast from where they were ordered to this sorting center. It's all about speed and efficiency when it comes to handling international shipments. Speed and efficiency are definitely key. But Jake, for our listeners who might not be familiar with terms like motorway exits or National Expressway 107, could you give us a quick rundown? Sure thing, Emily. When we talk about motorway exits, we're referring to the points along a highway where vehicles can exit to reach different destinations. And the National Expressway 107 is a major road that facilitates quick transportation across various regions. Think of them as the veins and arteries of transportation, ensuring that packages get to where they need to go, swiftly and efficiently. I love that analogy, Jake. It really puts into perspective how crucial these infrastructural elements are for the smooth operation of a sorting facility like Dalingshan Town. Exactly, Emily. And speaking of smooth operations, I'm curious to know more about the specific processes that take place within the Dalingshan Town sorting facility. How do packages get from point A to B, and what challenges might they face along the way? Great question, Jake. And it's one that I'm sure our listeners are eager to hear more about, too. Let's dive deeper into the inner workings of the Dalingshan Town sorting facility in the next segment of our episode. So, Emily, as we delve into the Dalingshan Town sorting facility's operations, it's fascinating to see how they manage the flow of packages. One aspect that stands out is their tracking statuses. These statuses give us a glimpse into the journey of a package through the facility. Let's start with the first one, Dalingshan Town Inbound in Sorting Center. Right, Jake. That status signifies that a package has just arrived at the sorting facility and is ready for the necessary processing steps like inspection, registration, and routing. It's the starting line for every package's journey within the facility. Exactly. And after that initial step, we have the Dalingshan Town Processing at Sorting Center status. This indicates that the package is actively being inspected, registered, and then routed towards the departure transport hub. It's all about ensuring that the package is ready for its next leg of the journey. It seems like a well-oiled machine, but not every package makes it through smoothly. The Dalingshan Town package not accepted by sorting center status is a bit of a roadblock, isn't it? Indeed, Emily. This status means that the sorting center has identified an issue with the package, such as prohibited contents, and decides not to process it further. For instance, a package containing a knife destined for Canada would likely be rejected due to customs regulations. That makes sense. 
And what about the status a town unable to deliver to sorting center? That's another critical status, indicating that a package failed the security check and couldn't even make it to the sorting facility. Often, this is due to restrictions on items like battery-powered devices exceeding certain capacities. It's a measure to ensure safety and compliance with transportation regulations. And finally, there's the Dalingshan town departed from sorting center status. This one sounds like good news for both the sender and the recipient. Absolutely, Emily. It means the package has successfully passed through all the necessary checks and processes at the sorting facility and is now on its way to the departure transport hub, ready for its international journey. It's a significant milestone in the package's travel. With all these steps and statuses, I can imagine there are times when packages get stuck at the sorting facility for longer than expected. What are some common reasons for these delays, Jake? Great question, Emily. Delays can occur for several reasons, such as the sorting center being backed up, especially during peak holiday times, or bad weather preventing packages from being safely loaded for transport. Sometimes, there might also be a perceived problem with a package requiring further inspection. That sounds frustrating for anyone waiting on a package, but it's reassuring to know there are systems in place to handle these situations. What should someone do if their package is stuck at the Dalingshan Sorting Center for an extended period? If you find yourself in that situation, using a third-party tracking service like 17Track can provide more detailed information about your package's status. And don't hesitate to get in touch with the seller, especially if it's past the estimated delivery date. They might offer a replacement package or a refund. Thanks for those tips, Jake. It's clear that understanding the tracking statuses and knowing how to respond to delays can make the whole shipping experience much smoother for everyone involved. Absolutely, Emily. And for our listeners, we'd love to hear about your experiences with package tracking and any tips you might have. Share your stories with us on social media or through our podcast platform. We're always eager to learn from your experiences. Jake, I'm curious. With all this talk about tracking statuses and potential delays, it seems like the Daling Shantown sorting facility is a linchpin in the global logistics network. How do they manage to keep things running smoothly with such a high volume of packages? That's a great point, Emily. The Dalingshan Town Sorting Facility, like many others, relies on a combination of advanced technology and skilled personnel. They use sophisticated tracking systems to monitor every package's journey through the facility, ensuring that each step from inspection to routing is completed efficiently. It sounds like a massive operation. And with technology playing such a crucial role, I imagine there's a constant need for updates and maintenance to keep everything up to speed. Absolutely. The world of logistics is always evolving, and facilities like Dalingshan Town have to stay on the cutting edge to handle the demands of global commerce. It's a testament to their commitment to efficiency and customer satisfaction. Speaking of customer satisfaction, Jake... What happens when things don't go as planned? We talked about packages getting stuck, but what about the communication with customers during these times? That's an important aspect, Emily. Communication is key, especially when delays occur. Most logistics companies, including AliExpress, provide updates through their tracking systems. But as we mentioned earlier, third-party tracking services like 17Track can offer more detailed insights which is invaluable for both senders and recipients. It seems like being proactive and staying informed are the best strategies for dealing with any shipping issues. Knowing how to navigate the tracking system and understanding the various statuses can really help alleviate some of the stress that comes with waiting for a package. Exactly, Emily. And for anyone facing delays or issues with their packages, remember that reaching out to the seller is also a viable option. They can provide updates, offer solutions, or even issue refunds if necessary. It's all about working together to ensure a smooth delivery process.